everyone, it's Lexi. Today I'm going to be doing a side braid. This is a really cute braid that you can do before school, before work, if your hair is just not working you're having one of those bad hair days. So let's talk about what you need before you get started. So what you'll need first is two bobby pins, some hairspray. I like to use um, Aussie Instant Freeze. I think it works really well. And you'll also need some kind of teasing comb. I personally like the ones with the three prongs, but you can decide on what you like best. And I also am using a Revlon curling iron. I think these work really well for my hair. So let's get started. So first off, you're either going to straighten your hair or leave it natural. I like my hair curly, but my hair is naturally straight, so this is something easy when I wake up from bed that I can just do. So first you're going to start off with teasing. You take a section right where your bangs end, if you have bangs right where your bangs end, and if not, you can start a little further back. So first you're going to start by teasing, and you're just going to back comb like this and just pull down. And then I like to use a little bit of hairspray. And then tease a little more. It kind of holds it. And I like to just brush the front lightly because you don't want it to be bumpy. And just continue with that. you're going to want to brush it down because you can kind of see it's kind of crazy right now. So you're just going to kind of brush it down a little bit, kind of even it out. So that way when you go to do your braid, it'll be kind of like a cute bump. So you can go like this. And then I like to tease this little section right here just so that way it kind of blends in better. And you're going to pull it back like this. So it should look like that. You can see my hair is like really big right now. So you just kind of want to brush it out to your liking. Okay. Now next, you're going to start by taking your hair like this, like you're going to make a pony, like a side ponytail. And you're going to pull sections, three sections, like this. And if you have layers like mine, it might be a little more difficult. So you want to be really kind of slow doing it and twist and put over the middle. So you go over the middle and go over the middle again. And you just do that all the way down until you get to the end. keep wrapping it until it's pretty tight because you don't want it to come out. Now a perfect example of what happened was right in here I have these little pieces that are kind of sticking out. I don't know if you can see that but they're sticking out. I used hairspray like this and I kind of push them in. And the hairspray will help to hold them in a lot. And it doesn't have to be really neat kind of looks cute when it's messy. So now what I'm going to do is I just want to pull out a little bit, kind of, it's a messier look. So now what you're going to do is take bobby pins and bobby pin the back. So you're going to put one in like this and put it up in. And you're going to take your other bobby pin, open it up like this, and you're going to crisscross it. Like that. You see I crisscrossed it? And you're just gonna push it up into your head. And you should kind of you should kind of feel it on your scalp. 
kind of rub against it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hairspray the top like so. And I'm going to pull pieces out from the sides like this. And this is where your curling iron is going to come in. Right here. So now you're going to take your curling iron, and I have it on 25 because they're, yeah, it's the highest setting there is because my hair is naturally straight so it doesn't curl easily. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my hair around like this and flip it. And I hold it for about 10 seconds. And then drop like that, and it kind of gives it a cute little shape. And sometimes this happens where the end doesn't go. Just wrap it around it like that, and let go. It'll kind of do itself. And you're going to do the same for this side. And hold it for 10 seconds. these cute little curls right in here in your bangs. You can kind of push them back. You can bobby pin them. You can push them back. I also find putting like a headband in with like a bow to the side is really cute too. I've done that before. So it's kind of, you know, make it your own.